Hey there, old guy back again. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. First thing I'd like to say is I'm totally blown away. I just hit 250 subscribers, which just absolutely floors me. I started this channel just to kind of have fun with it. Didn't really think there'd be a whole lot of interest and I want to thank absolutely everybody who watches my channel, subscribes to my channel. Uh, it's because of you that I keep doing this. Uh, even when I don't really feel like it, I look at my subscribers and say, man, I, I need to make sure that they have some content to watch. So thanks every single one of you. I really appreciate your support. Today's video is going to be going over and looking at my brand new PRS SE Custom 24 Zebra Wood. Super nice guitar. And uh, let's listen to it first and then I'll come back and talk to you about uh, why I bought it. I've never gotten along with humbucker guitars. I've had all kinds of guitars with humbuckers in them, from Les Pauls uh, to Ibanez's to Ernie Ball Music Man's, and I just could never really get along with humbuckers. Uh, as you know, I've got a Strat and a Tele, and those are single coils, and they're amazing. Uh, and every time I pick up a humbucker guitar, there's just something about the tone I can't get with. Uh, and then I saw this guitar. Um, it is a PRS SE, which means it's made a broad uh, but it is uh, looked at uh, by the Paul Reed Smith company here on the U.S. side once it comes back. Uh, and I was just thoroughly blown away with this guitar. I've tried PRSs in the past and I never really could get my hands around them. I always thought that the, the neck was kind of uncomfortable for me. And I saw this guitar um, at a guitar center and picked it up and plugged it in and immediately fell in love with it. Basically, I think it's one of the nicest finished guitars on the neck that I've ever played. Uh, my other two guitars, uh, the necks are unfinished, which I prefer. I always thought that the neck was a little sticky if it was finished, but this guitar was just amazing. Felt like it was built for me, kind of like the Telecaster. The neck is smooth, it plays fast, it's comfortable in my hands. At the top of this guitar is actually a veneer, but it looks fantastic. And then I plugged it in, and I gotta tell you, these humbuckers are so well balanced. With this amp, they're a little bit bassy, and I didn't touch the controls um, comparatively with my uh, Tele and Strat. I wanted to hear what it would sound like with the same controls, but when I'm gonna play this just on my own, I am gonna mess with the controls a little bit, as again, the, the, the humbuckers are a little bit bassy. I also didn't buy this guitar for the split coil. I find them rather thin, and because I have other single coil guitars, I'm not going to use it for that. But 
just the tone was just incredible. Uh, it does an amazing Almond Brothers. It does an amazing Led Zeppelin. And at higher gains, it just sings. And that's kind of what I bought it for. I've got other the other two guitars for kind of my cleaner, kind of jazzier, kind of bluesier stuff. I bought this guitar to really kind of use the higher end of gain on it, and it just sounds incredible. That gain stage two with the delay through it just... I mean, I, I have not heard a humbucker guitar sound like that that I've ever played, ever. Even when I had the Ernie Ball Music Man JP6 and was running it through uh, the Axe effects, it never sounded like this. Um, the fit and finish on this guitar are really, really exceptional, especially when it's considered that it's made abroad. Um, the couple of things that I've heard that the SE line kind of suffers from a little bit are one, the tuners, and actually they were junk. They are junk. I changed them right away to locking tuners, which I got. Um, and apparently the nut uh, has some issues with it. I haven't really taken this guitar through its paces with the, with the tremolo. Um, to really kind of test the nut, but to me it's been stable. Um, it stays in tune. It doesn't go sharp or flat when I'm just bending and playing a little bit more aggressively. Uh, so all in all, uh, as far as I'm concerned with the nut right now, I'm going to leave it as is. I will kind of mess with it a little bit more with the tremolo and see kind of what happens. The tremolo also, even though I haven't done a whole lot with it, seems to stay stable uh, when I have my wrist on it, uh, but all in all, this guitar is definitely a keeper, and even though I tend to like to mod my guitars, the humbucker is going to stay, the tremolo system is going to stay, uh, and I'm just going to play it as is. If things kind of uh, deteriorate nut-wise later on, I'll just replace the nut. Uh, but other than that, I just love this guitar. Uh, the PRS SE Custom 24 Zebra Wood. Uh, it's my favorite humbucker guitar that I've ever put my hands on. I hope you enjoyed that uh, demo slash review of uh, my new guitar. If you did, please go ahead and give me, give me the thumbs up like. I'd really appreciate that. If you like what the channel has to offer, please go ahead and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Uh, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.